The cost of selling your house can vary depending on several factors like location, marketing conditions, and your circumstances. However, there are some common expenses associated with selling your house and we are going to discuss these costs in this video. But before we jump into all of that good stuff, please subscribe, like this video, and share this video and this channel with anyone you know who is interested in selling their home. Now, let's jump down to this. So I'm just gonna come out and say it. <laughs> selling the house is not cheap, but your profits from the sale can not only offset your selling expenses, but also potentially put you in a position to make your next move less stressful. Now on average, selling a house costs between 10 to 15% of the home sale price, key emphasis on average, so let's break it down. If you use a real estate agent, you'll typically pay a commission fee, which is normally a percentage of the home sale price. The listing agent, which is the agent who helps you sell the house, splits the commission with the buyer's agent. Now both agents have to pay broker fees or a, com a broker commission as well. Now additionally, most listing agents pay for any and all marketing costs out of that commission. This includes professional photography and videography, broker, broker opens, open houses and any print materials, direct mailing and social media advertising, etc. Basically, any effort that will get your house in front of as many buyers as possible, your realtor takes on that expense. Other significant benefits of using a realtor to sell your home is streamlining the process to save you time and money, recommending appropriate repairs and upgrades to get your home sold faster, and their negotiation skills to get you the best deal. Another cost associated with selling your home is repairs. Now, an inspection contingency is a part of the buying process, and these usually come with repair requests from the buyer. More than likely, you will need to make some repairs to close the deal. Even if you give a repair credit in lieu of completing the repairs, you're still shelling out some cash. If you know that your house is in need of some, re some repairs before you list, it would be wise to complete the repairs before listing because this could increase the marketability of your house. Now, some sellers opt to have a pre-listing home inspection, which is another added expense. A pre-listing home inspection is a proactive measure that helps you realize the condition of your home, and knowing the condition of your home prior to listing can ease the negotiation process. Pre-listing inspections cost approximately $300 to $600. Note that by law, you as a seller must disclose any and all material facts about the house, so if you go the pre-listing inspection route and issue are discovered, you must disclose it. To sell your house fast and for more, it is highly recommended to make it sparkle. So getting your house market ready or moving ready is an expense that you may have when selling your home. Part of getting your home market ready is deep cleaning it, and really this may not cost you a dime, but other preparations may like upgrading old appliances, landscaping, paint, and any home improvement that can yield a higher sale price. Some sellers choose not to make any updates and it is totally, totally up to you, but keep in mind that this could cut into your profits. Now staging falls into this category and although it's optional, the cost may be worth it because research has shown that staged homes sell faster than homes that have not been staged. The cost of staging varies, but it averages a couple grand a month. Depending on market conditions, some sellers offer concessions to help sell their house faster. This can include buyer appraisal fees, mortgage points to lower the buyer's interest rate, buyer closing costs or a portion of it, HOA fees, and a home warranty. Now you know Uncle Sam wants his portion, so expect to pay taxes when selling your home. This includes property taxes, transfer taxes where applicable, and possibly capital gains taxes. If you live in an HOA managed community, then there are probably some fees that you may have to pay as well, like disclosure fees and any encumbrances. Some other costs that you may occur when selling your house are moving expenses, homeowner's insurance, your current mortgage and utilities, depending on how long your house is on the market, title insurance, and for sure escrow fees. Now there are a lot of moving parts when it comes to selling, which is why I want to give you a free copy of my book, Selling Secrets You Can't Afford to Miss. You'll find everything that you need to know about selling your house in this little book. 
just click on the link in the description box to get your copy. If you want to schedule a chat session with me or to see all of the other buying and selling resources that I have available, please click on the other link in the description box. I'm Renee the Realtor. Thank you for tuning in and we will see you in the next video.